I'm Dr. Dave, Editor-in-Chief of Cancer Insights Magazine and Chair of the Task Force for Understanding the Medical and Environmental Fallout due to the Aliso Canyon gas blowout of 2015. In this episode, I'm going to talk about what happens to benzene in the body, because benzene is one of the major toxins released in the gas blowout. Benzene exposure is highly linked to a type of cancer called myeloid leukemia. Benzene becomes toxic after it is metabolized by enzymes in the body. Benzene is metabolized in five pathways that can produce harmful products. I'm going to briefly give an overview of these five pathways. Here is benzene. It can be processed to become benzene oxide, which can become the first byproduct detected in urine called S-phenylmercapturic acid. The second pathway after benzene becomes benzene oxide is that it becomes oxypin, which can be converted to muconaldehyde and muconic acid. These are another of the byproducts detected in urine after benzene exposure. The third pathway after benzene becomes benzene oxide is that it becomes phenol. Phenol can then be converted to hydroquinone, which can become benzoquinone. The fourth and fifth pathways after benzene becomes benzene oxide is that it becomes benzene diol epoxide or catechol, which can then become benzoquinone. Here is the diagram of all five pathways. Most of our understanding of the health effects of benzene exposure come from studies about industrial workers who have been exposed to high levels of benzene. These studies show that when humans are exposed to benzene at a concentration of 0.1 to 10 parts per million, the urine has a distinct signature of benzene byproducts. Most of the byproducts are phenol. The second common group of chemicals in urine due to benzene is hydroquinone, muconic acid, and catechol. Less than 1% of the benzene byproducts in urine is SPMA, or S-phenylmercapturic acid. Keep in mind that these industrial workers were exposed to benzene at a concentration between 0.1 to 10 parts per million. Unfortunately for the victims of the Aliso Canyon gas blowout, they were exposed to benzene at a concentration that was hundreds of times higher than what these industrial workers were exposed to. So whatever diseases these industrial workers suffer from, these diseases must be off the charts in the victims of the Aliso Canyon blowout of the San Fernando Valley.